Traditional IVF is changing. Uh, today you hear terms like mini IVF or natural cycle IVF. Uh, traditional IVF uses fertility medications to mature a, a number, hopefully eight or ten eggs, for retrieval from the ovary and then fertilization and allowing those embryos to grow and sort of self-select so that you can pick out the lead embryo for transfer. Mini IVF has evolved uh, particularly for young women who may be more sensitive to fertility medications. And so they take uh, a smaller dose. Many are concerned about health issues with fertility medications, and that's natural. But a smaller dose may, again, produce several eggs from the ovary, not as many as traditional, but uh, a smaller dose. And again, certainly in a young woman, they may not need uh, a number of uh, eggs to create embryos to be able to select out one that would be highly successful in terms of creating a pregnancy. Natural cycle IVF is also an evolution uh, where a woman just ovulates without any fertility medication. You have to have, be able to identify the time where the egg would be released so they can be uh, taken from the ovary at the appropriate time. Unfortunately, you miss the egg every once in a while, and um, the success rates for mini IVF and uh, natural cycle IVF are less because you have less eggs and therefore less embryos to work with. And uh, women who have a, a low reserve, and even in spite of taking high doses of stimulating medication or only producing one or two eggs, are also a candidate for mini IVF or natural cycle taking maybe one egg or two eggs per cycle, fertilizing them, growing embryos, and then freezing those embryos and banking them for a time in the future when they can be tested uh, genetically to see that these embryos are normal. Mm -hmm.